to like the my mid Q one. Well, this one family, they uh, their whole family has a little over a hundred different uh, Mexican restaurants um, within three states, and one of the states we already sell in. So we're working on how we can get it into all those states, kind of all at one time. Man, you guys are growing like crazy, and that's a good thing. Yeah, no, it's a really good thing. It's it's nice to be able to sell it before you even make it. Because then you right. can, uh, you, you don't, you just not, it's less risky because um, you know the second you get it, it's leaving the warehouse and it's not sitting there. That's always yeah. a good thing. No dust on those bottles. No, so, and we just actually just landed Costco in California. The first, oh. um, uh, SoCal is doing a trial run and um, they will actually have their first bottles on Thursday of next week. And then NorCal is placing their order probably in a week or so because they're two different regions. And they'll be in stores in January in Northern California. And if that test goes well in each one of those um, those regions, then we go into, let's just say, another 20 or 30 more locations within those areas. And then it kind of keeps growing from that. I think California has 200-plus stores. Wow. So, yeah. Yes, yeah, Costco doesn't buy small either when they no. you know they normally buy like a half power power per location so it's um yeah. and if you do well in one state you take that information to another one like colorado or texas and then mm-hmm. they put it in they do the same thing yeah now this journey of yours with tequila has been over a decade in the making what do you feel like you learned the most through this journey I still learn things every time I go down there. And I think, you know, it's like after all the times I've been down there, I would, I would think, like, how did I not know this? But every time we go, we always learn something new. And it's not just one thing. It's multiple things. So um, I would say it's probably equal um, information, you know, but I'd say you learn the most when you're there. And we – I, I probably go – I'd say probably five to six times a year I'm at the distillery. So, you know, quite often. And, um, yeah, but over the phone and email, it's, it's not the same versus actually no. being there. Yeah. Um, having that, that face time and going through the process. Now, a lot of brands are not like that at all. They don't even go down there after the first visit. They just email their order in and they, you know, their materials are there or, they just say, you know, fill it, and they just don't, not really involved. And um, even sometimes on their first order, um, they're not even at present. And it's crazy that they're not even there going through the, the process of it. But, um, you know, everyone has their own style so on, on how they do it. But we're definitely very involved in all the details, um, even down to the water temperature in the second distillation. Um, we we regulate that, which is something that no other brand does there, and it's just because the the profile can be changed based on the uh, radiator temperature of the water. And you know, we learned a lot of these things by asking a lot of questions and trying to understand every single aspect of it and how um, the climate can change the outcome of tequila. Um, I'm sure it does with with any spirit. And same thing with the water source too. All those things impact the final taste and um you can identify you know what's changing it and you're trying to make it consistent then you do things like we do with regulating the water temperature yeah i think being as hands-on as you are obviously is 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 showing in the the way people are enjoying it the way people are buying it the way they are and just you know the overall quality of it all because not only are you hands-on but you're making sure that other people feel like they're a part of it as well, like you said, with showing you're putting the uh, options on Instagram or social media and allowing people to make the decision, and then you you guys go with that. And the way that you guys allowed the bartenders and everybody to get their hands on it to make sure they enjoy it. So obviously, you know, not only are you hands-on, but you're allowing other people to be hands-on as well which allows them to think that they're part of the whole process as well. Exactly. And um, I'm bringing back 3,500 MLs with me, or probably 32. 
and all those are samples for the retailers. So I'll hand pick out three to four samples for barrels for each one of the retailers to try. And then they'll lock in the barrel that they want, and then their name will go on the barrel after I send it to them. So they're a part of the process of picking their single barrel. And then with the high proof, too, I'm sending out two different variations to some of our bigger retailers and asking their feedback. Do they like it or not like it? And then that will let me know if we're on the right path for the high proof taste profile. And then I'll probably do the same thing with the cider barrels, depending on how they taste. If they taste great, we'll probably ask for some more people's feedback of what they think. And then that will lead us down the direction if we're using the right barrel type or, you know, what, what their thoughts are around it. So, yeah, definitely including a lot more people um, in the process. That's so fantastic that you guys do that. Now, I have a segment on the show I call it the five count, which is five random questions. Just uh, answer as quick as possible. Uh, what are you nerding out on right now? Probably the cider barrels, just because <laughs> it's it's um they're non-alcoholic based barrels, mm-hmm. and I'm extremely curious how the profile is going to turn out, because no one's done that I know of a non-alcoholic barrel for tequila. There we go. Or a non-alcoholic X X barrel for tequila. So, if you were a pro wrestler or MMA fighter, what would your name be? Uh, I'd probably have to take Hulk Hogan. I know that's already taken, but I, that's the first thing that comes to mind when I think of a uh, wrestler. Is, that's probably, you know, Hulk Hogan or Ultimate Warrior. There we go. Uh, what song do you car karaoke to? What phone? What song do you car karaoke oh, oh, oh. to? Probably uh, Journey. Uh, still Believing. Or, or, yeah. That don't Stop Believing. Don't Stop Believing. Yeah. That's a yeah. solid one. Yeah. Uh, who or what inspires you? Oh, man. Um, I'd say my mom and dad, but um, a lot of the people around me that um, that either are part of Yale or, or work with Yale, they're, um, you know, they're uh, like some people to, to look up to. So there are some definitely, um, you know, definitely uh, inspired by them. I'd say like the master of the sewer. Uh, Sergio, he is, um, he's very impressive for what he's done over the last like 15 years. Um, extremely impressive. So that's awesome. And what would you tell your 17 year old self? Oh man. Um, probably to get into, um, digital marketing and digital assets, uh, earlier on. There you go. Now, if people wanted to find out more about you, follow you guys online, buy Yayo, how can they do all the things? So, uh, yayotequila.com, and all the handles are the same, no space, just Y-E-Y-O, tequila.com, or, or tequila. And, um, yeah, all, all the information is there, and, you know, obviously, yayotequila.com. And, uh, yeah, it's the best place to reach out to us. And then our, our email, you can, it goes right through it through Instagram or any of our social handles. It's just uh, Ola at com, and we do respond to, I'd say, 95% of everyone that reaches out on DMs or emails. It may take us a few days, but we do get back to everyone. I am uh, I am proof that you guys definitely do, and obviously you're here. Uh, thank you again for being on the show. Thank you for the bottle you gifted me. Uh, this stuff is fantastic, and I cannot wait to see uh, how much bigger and better you guys get in the future. I appreciate it. Thanks again, John. No problem. Thank you again, for John, for being on the show. Again, pick up some Yayo tequila. It is delicious. And again, the bottle looks fantastic. And again, how could you not go wrong with that uh, recipe that they have and the three generations? And it's just phenomenal. I love the story and uh, I definitely love the tequila. So speaking of things we love, make sure to follow us on the social medias. It is Bruiser's Pod, that is B-R-E-W-S-E-R-S-P-O-D on the Instagram, the Twitter, and the threads if you want to send us an email it is bruiserspod at 
gmail.com. If you want to follow me directly, it is Rodie John. That is R-O-D-I-E-J-O-N. Rodie John is the name on the Twitter and on Untapped. In case you want to find out what I'm drinking, maybe we can have a beer together. If you want to follow me on the threads or the Instagram, it is official Rodie John. If you want to send me an email, it is Rodie John at gmail.com. So until next time, make sure to enjoy life, drink local, and cheers. Cheers.